Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel where I try to bring you a wide variety of computer DIY upgrade and repair videos. In this video, I'm working on an HP EliteBook 840 G3 laptop computer. I'll show you how to get inside the computer, access your RAM if you want to replace it or upgrade it, and also your solid state drive if you want to access that. Okay, so first thing guys, I have my computer shut off. I have the power adapter unplugged. I also have it on top of an anti-static pad. Uh, either an anti-static pad or an anti-static bracelet is a very good idea when opening up a computer to limit the chances of damaging any of the components. If you guys want help finding items like this, supplies uh, for your repair or any of the tools I use in my video, check out the link above. It'll take you to my Amazon store where you can see the things that I use in my shop. Okay, so to start off with, I see a screw there, 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 there. So four along the top, you got two here three along the bottom and one there, one in the middle. I'm gonna go and take those off now. One good hint guys, when you're taking screws out of a computer, make sure you keep different size screws together and separate from each other. Not all screws in a computer are gonna be the same width or the same length. And if you try to put the wrong screw in the wrong hole, you could end up damaging a component. So make sure your bottom case screws stay with each other, your battery screws with each other, motherboard screws. Uh, make sure you keep your screw separate. I'm now gonna take my small flat plastic pry tool, put it in near the hinge, and just give it a little pop. Pop that bottom case right up. As you can see here, there's no electrical components on this. It's just a panel, so that just pops right up. Here's the inside of the computer. I'll zoom in a little bit for you. So the next thing you wanna take out before you move on to any other component in any computer repair is your battery. The idea here is we want as little power running through here as possible so as not to damage anything. So the very next component you always remove is your battery. As you can see, it's held on by one, two, three screws. So I'm gonna take those out now and I'm gonna keep them separate from my other screws. And then right here, there's a little black flap, plastic flap right there. You just bend that up and you pull the battery right out. And that's how you remove your battery. It plugs into that port right there with this connector. So that's how you would line it up and it just comes right out. Now that we've removed the battery, the computer is safe to proceed further into. There's your solid state drive and there's your two RAM ports. So your RAM is right here. We have one RAM port that has a RAM stick in it, one that's empty. This is kind of nice. It shows you the arms that hold the RAM in. There are two metal arms that are spring loaded. And the way you release the RAM is by prying them apart from each other and the RAM stick pops up just like this. Oop, and that came right out when I did that. Usually it just pops up and then you'd have to pull it out, but ours conveniently came right out. So there's your RAM stick. For those of you looking to find an easy replacement, there's a convenient sticker that HP has put on this with their HP part number. And the part number for this is 820-570-001. It's an easy way to find an HP replacement part for this. To put the RAM stick back in, you'd match up the long port and short port there. You'd put it in, get it in there flush, and then you push down and it would snap in on both sides. Just like that. There's your solid state drive. As you can see, it's held in by a single screw. So I'll go and take that single screw out. Your solid state drive pops up and then you just pull it out of its port like that. Again, there's a nice little convenient sticker there. If you're looking for a replacement part number, it's 821-577-001. To put the solid state drive back in, you just put it right inside its port. Again, make sure it's flush and flat and then that can go down. We can get our screw, bring it over here, screw the solid state drive back into place. All right, so there's the operation, not too complicated, but it does help to know what you're getting into before you start opening up a computer. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you wanna leave me a question or comment, feel free to do so. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.